So what's up? You know, I was having a little chat with my friend today at the gym and he saw some of my videos and he was like, Oh, what's that? You were talking about something you put on a uh, salad or some kind of dish or something. I said, Oh, fur cocky. He said, Yeah, yeah. What is that? And I said, Well, you know, I can't tell you everything all in one video. So here it is. Furikake or furikake. It's basically just seaweed and different flavorings and stuff like that. And no, it's not a perfect food, but you know what? Seaweed might be one of the, the perfect foods. And this is something else he asked about is, is nori or seaweed paper. And it's what they make um it's what they make a lot of uh sushi in, sushi rolls and uh things like that. So and there's man, there's hundreds of different kinds, but it's basically kind of one kind that they use at a sushi bar to roll the roll the fish and the rice up in. And also here's just kind of a little peek in my uh, cabinet. Lots and lots of hot sauces. You know, you can't get the original sriracha so much anymore. So I've been stocking up a little bit on that kind of stuff. Also, fish sauce. If you ever want to make some kind of seafood soup or seafood broth, a little goes a long way. But man, is it awesome. Got to have some soy sauce. Got some olive oil and some apple cider vinegar and some grapeseed oil, white balsamic. Ketchup, of course. Red wine vinegar, sugar. That's to feed the hummingbirds, yeah. And uh, anyway, just a little peek here in the cabinet so for cocky it's awesome to top off rice dishes and uh, salads and stuff like that uh, just gives you a little taste of seaweed and some spices and and things like that um, tasty uh, give it a try f-u-r-i-k-a-k-e for cocky and with seaweed seaweed you can use it um, in the place of like a tortilla or burrito thing or whatever um, you know, make your own sushi rolls that way. It doesn't necessarily have to be raw fish. You know, you can put a bunch of veg in it, a bunch of rice in it. You can put eggs. You can put meats in it. Um, uh, they call it masubi a lot of times. Like, masubi is kind of a Hawaiian thing where they um, roll up some rice and whatever. You know, spam masubi, sausage masubi, uh, any kind of meats. Um, I would a lot of times use uh, ham and eggs and put them in a seaweed um, wrapper, a nori wrapper, um, and make like a little burrito out of it. That's a masubi, ham and egg masubi. And you can throw some rice in there and you can throw some hot sauces and salt and pepper. Um, I'll try to make, I'll try to make a little video next time I decide to do some. So there's a little heads up on masubi for cocky seaweed paper and a little peek inside the cabinets at the construction kitchen. Aloha! Oh, by the way, my buddy who was talking to me in the gym this morning, he said, let people know that you're not spam. I am not a robot. I am not spam. But occasionally like a little taste of it, but not so much.